Welcome to day four of Story A Day, May 2017. You are back, you are still writing. I applaud you. I hope I am able to write today. Um, today's prompt I think is a really, really helpful one for the middle of the first week. And we are at the middle of the first week. You've written for three days, you've uh, got some of your gunk out, you've got some of, you've exercised your muscles, and maybe by day four you are feeling, I am not going to be able to keep this up for, for a whole month. You are, trust me, you are. We've got lots of things that are going to shake, think, shake it up for you. But today I'm going to give you an exercise from um, a writer friend called LJ Cohen, who is a, a fabulous science fiction writer, and has given us a prompt which is perfect for this moment. It's called Writer's Clues and basically you're going to fill in some blanks to get you started and then you're going to go on and write your story from there. When someone limits your options it makes it so much easier to get the job done. If I tell you just to go and write a story you have every possibility in the entire world to choose from. I don't know, I don't care how decisive you are, that is a difficult position to be in. If you want to go and procrastinate, you can check out some TED Talks on the curse of choice. I can't remember the title of, of the, uh, the, the talk, but it, it's kind of acknowledged by psychologists that too much choice is a bad thing. So in this instance, you're being given some very, you're going to give yourself some limits. Uh, LJ has put up the, the skeleton of the story, the things you're going to choose and uh, you're going to choose some some people, some places, um, a problem, and uh, she's going to guide you through that. And from there you have to write a story. I'm going to encourage you to keep it short because it's day four and because you've got these limits. Set a timer or set a word limit or um, a word count limit or you know do something like that to to make yourself write a short short story today just to prove that you can still do this. Day four is not the toughest day in the challenge, but it's not the easiest either. And I've been doing this since 2010, so and we do it in May and September, so I've done a lot of these challenges. And there are peaks and troughs throughout the month. Day one is, is tough in its own way because you maybe haven't written a short story for a while. Day two is kind of okay. Next week there are gonna be some moments where the month ahead of you seems very long. And we're going to use some of, some more of these tricks to get you through that. But for today, put these limits on yourself. Uh, don't worry about writing a masterpiece. Don't think about where you might publish this story. Just focus on getting it down. Sometimes the best stories come out of these crazy limits. You start writing something thinking it's going to be ridiculous and there's no way and there's no point in doing it and why are you even doing this stupid exercise and then your writer brain takes over and you end up writing something that is actually kind of good. Now sometimes you write something that's just an exercise and you're just like well you know what I did my exercises today and I feel good about that. But sometimes you end up with a story that's intriguing and, and grows to become something else. So hop on over and have a look at the prompt if you're looking at the video, it's down there. If you're uh, listening to the, uh, the podcast, you want to go to storyaday.org and it's right on the front page. Uh, if you're coming from somewhere else, storyaday.org, front page. Look at, LJ's, uh, uh, look at LJ's prompt. And then as always, for our guest prompters, if you can check out their uh, books online, if you can request them from your library, if you can leave a review at Goodreads or Amazon, uh, if you can join their mailing list, if you like what they write. All of these things are great ways to say thank you to a writer who has brought you some joy. Uh, so I hope that you will investigate all of our writers, all of our guest prompters a little uh, a little more. You don't have to like them all because some of them are going to write things that you're not into, you know, if you're not into horror or if you're not into sci-fi or if you're not into whatever. Some of these writers you're not going to be their biggest fan, but if you can find a way to express your, your gratitude for them for helping us out here. That would be lovely. And I hope that you go and write a story today. Use these limits. Set yourself a timer or a word count or something to keep you from uh, losing momentum. And just get the story written today. Come into the blog comments, come into the community, let us know how it's going and, uh, and how the challenge overall is going and how, what you're learning writing every day. Have a great writing day and I will see you tomorrow.